What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out episode 1073 of One Piece. Uh, the last couple episodes have been bangers. A lot of people not loving the animation of Gear 5. I personally love it. I love it. It embodies Luffy as a character and how he's acted his whole life, how goofy he is. Uh, and now he gets to act as goofy as he wants while throwing hands with Kaido. So I'm, I'm perfectly, uh, I'm fully there for it. So, uh, I personally love it. Uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. A lot of people said this is going to be focusing on a lot of other side content, um, along with the gear five versus Kaido fight. So I'm expecting to see some of Rizo and some of the other, uh, things that we have to finish up. Uh, that way we can focus mainly on, uh, gear five, but yeah, let's jump right in. Let's go. Also, I changed my monitor layout, so if you see me looking over here, this is like where I've got the recording stuff set up, uh, and that's where I'll have chat and stuff as well. So, yeah, this is back when he uh, figured out that it was an awakening, but it's kind of like a zone type. Uh, yeah, it's like a mix. Yeah, he's literally such a goofball, man. I know a lot of people. A lot of people were giving it slack for the animation and when I was hyping up the animation, but they, I don't know if those people fail to realize, yeah, it's, I, I personally believe that this is really, really good animation and people are like, oh, there's better animation, Demon Slayer and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, okay. But they literally put out like half a season a year and this is a weekly show. Like no hate to Demon Slayer, animation is beautiful, but you can't knock the animation of this show that comes out weekly like it, it, it like if demon slayer came out weekly it wouldn't have the tier of animation that it has because it has all that time to be animated but yeah welcome to my ted talk uh, just going back in we're going back in and then he rocks your shit man he turns into an airplane and rocks your shit man it's so crazy And then he's like, this is fun, right, Kaido? Even the art is beautiful, man. The way that, like, the white, like, you can see it shining. It's so good. Yeah, it's a, it's a little ridiculous, man. He yeeted your ass. Bounced you around, turned you into a balloon. Used you as a jump rope. Pulled up the ground, launched your own attack back at you with the iconic shot of you with your eyes. This is another one of the scenes that a lot of people were giving slack, like flack for uh, the first gear, like when Gear Five full, like actually happened, not the second episode, but the first one, is because the animation was so quick and like fast, and so much was happening, it was hard to tell what was actually happening. So you'd have to like rewatch it and watch it back to fully grasp. That he grabbed the ground, lifted it up after turning it to rubber, and then reflected the blast breath back at him. It was very hard. And there's the iconic shot. Yeah, he's taking it all down, man. What do you got to? What are you gonna do about it, though? He's flashing to everybody that has been taken out. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. That's our boy Sanji. Hmm. Still, that episode's underrated. Because the obvious, a lot of people, Zoro's episode just hit different, man. And it was very unfortunate because both are amazing episodes and they're both top tier. But, like, it just felt like they did them dirty with the amount of love that they gave to Zoro's episode. But they hit different. Uh, Sanji's is more emotional on the emotional side, and then uh, Zoro's is more on the, like, battle. More focused on the battle. I don't understand how anybody could say that's not good animation. Yep, you got the Mickey D's. There's our boy. Okay, so he did sense that his subordinates... This is fire. What are you gonna take from him, bro? You haven't taken shit from him. Dragon Swarm, okay. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh my god, I was gonna say he was turning his body into like marks of it. What the heck is that? What is that? That's a Gatling I've never seen in my life. The, oh, he's rocking him, damn. 
And then he just falls flat on his face. Oh shit, things are on fire. That's not good. The fire's starting to get to the top. Okay, th this is where it's gonna transition into us seeing what's going on down there. Oh. Okay, yeah, he, he trusts. Oh my god, bro. He going Sonic, bro. Yeah, he tr he believes in his crew. Emolition Gus, okay. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> he did the thing where he... I, it almost hit my crotch, bro. <laughs> he just launches himself up with the ground. It's awesome. Dude, that shot, though, with the whole the castle on fire. That was the performance floor, bro. That was where, like, they first were fighting. It's wild how much destruction has happened. I know there's fights everywhere, but... Nami? Bro, what? Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't seen any of them. Okay, where's Jinbei at? He could probably put out some of this fire. I'll be fine, Tama. Just like you guys believed in Luffy, Luffy's believing that you guys can take care of everything down here. Beepo just being lazy, man. Let this man run on his own. Where's the long kid at? They still like knocked out. I know they were fighting a little bit. But. Couldn't he technically like room them to the ground? Oh my god. Oh no. He's just a skeleton. Yeah, everybody's split up. Oh, Ryzo got saved by Jinbei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he able to take the fire out? Okay, he's gonna put them all out. Let's go. Hopefully, he doesn't have to like sacrifice himself or something to do it. Sanji's up and go running now. Yeah, everybody's split up. Uh, no. That's our boy. That's our boy. I'm digging the jacket on the shoulders. But couldn't, couldn't he just, like, moonwalk them up? Not that they want to be on the roof, but, like, moonwalk them to a different area? Or is that, like, too much for him? Like, obviously, he'd have to make it, like, what is it, like, seven trips? But I feel like he could just moonwalk them. Oh, fuck Apu. Fuck him. No shot you guys are fighting right now while you're both, like, about to be on fire. We got Usopp. She doesn't even know that her brother's gone yet, man. Oh, you got a sprinkler star? I don't know if that's gonna do much. Yeah, no. Oh my god. That's ironic, because that's literally what Luffy's doing right now. The cartooniness. He's like, what about me, bro? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot Frankie saved Zoro. Oh yeah, he's not doing too well. Yeah, that's all the beast pirates. Okay, Ryzo, what's your plan, man? What's your plan? Is he gonna toss water and he's gonna like... He's gonna like disperse it or something? Is he sacrificing himself? Ironic seeing as the Odin's castle went up in flames and now Onigashima is going up in flames. Is he gonna spray water at them? Oh. Did he put. This man. This man took water from Zunisha and put it into a scroll that he's now gonna use to spread the water from him bathing himself all that time ago. Yo, Giga Brain. Is he gonna like ping it to... Yeah, he's got the scroll. Is he gonna ping it to Jinbei? Yo? Is Jinbei gonna like disperse it through the whole place? He's gonna grab it. Yep, he's throwing it throughout the building. Yo, these guys are... Huge brain, man. Go Rizo, clutching it up for the boys. 
And it's ironic, and on top of that, it's ironic that Zunisha has this bond with Joy Boy, who has been reincarnated basically as Luffy. So to see like Zo or Zunisha have this impact, not directly, obviously, it's through Rizo, and Rizo's the one that took the water from that, but it's just ironic that it was from Zunisha in the first place that's going to now help save Onigashima and the people on it. Sorry if I keep pausing it a lot. I, just, I try to like break things down as it happens because I just find that kind of ironic that Zunisha's water is the water that is going to douse the flames of Onigashima. Killer is bro. He's, we haven't seen him in a while too. He's in rough shape. Here comes the water. Hopefully it doesn't push them off the island. I hope they can like remove the smile group so that killer can be normal again. Ooh, Momo and Yamato. Hey, you still have to keep it above. Yeah, if his clouds disappear, then the island is going to drop. Bro, it's not like you didn't know this this whole time, Momo. Come on. What do you think you were trying to do this whole time? Oh shit, we're back here. This man just grabbed a lightning bolt. Yo, like I know like his body has the properties of rubber so it's not affecting him, but like this, how you, are you, what the, that's how you ending it? Bro, you're not even gonna give me any love after that, man. This man just jumps up into the sky grabs a lightning bolt and what it, oh my god i can't uh like i know this this episode obviously isn't as hype as the last two uh but i do like that we got to see uh rizo like like clutch up for everybody that's like dealing with the fire basically down below uh because he's like one of those so he's like I, I give respect to Rizo, but he's like one of those side characters that doesn't give get enough love uh as like obviously all the straw hats and everything so it was nice to get an episode where you get to see him clutch up uh for the rest of the people on the island and the irony of him using the water that zunisha uses to bathe himself to save the island that joy boy is reincarnated on basically um very good episode. I'm curious to see what Luffy's going to do with a lightning bolt now and that he can just grab it. Uh, nothing too crazy this episode, but again, we're just going to continue. Uh, I don't know anything that happens now that the scenes that I've already seen and were spoiled for me, we've already gotten past. So everything's new for me, which is awesome. And I'm hyped for that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, enjoyed this reaction, drop a like on this video. You guys are killing it. I'm hitting goals and I appreciate all the love and support you guys are giving me. Uh, yeah. See you guys in the next reaction. Peace.